biggest team in college basketball was hard to miss at the Pepsi Center. Purdue featured not one, but two seven-footers. Senior A.J. Hammonds is just a mere seven feet, while sophomore Isaac Haas is 7'2". Coach was telling me, I mean, he, P.J., he's going to be the biggest human being you've seen in your life. And I'm like, all right, Coach, like, we, we're going to see, we're going to see. And I saw his hands and just his legs, and I mean, it's unbelievable. Opponents and maybe even some of your own players are always like, man, these guys are so big. Do you ever look at people like us and say, man, you guys are so small? No, no, I never, man. Y'all just <laughs> y'all just normal people. I'm just looking at myself after that and like, man, I'm pretty hang big. So. Purdue's opponent, 12th-seeded Little Rock, arrived in Denver with a tourney-most 29 wins and a coach with a broken hand. Should be no surprise that Chris Beard is a Bobby Knight disciple. A dry erase board took a bad shot, so um, there was a chair there, and I thought briefly about maybe using the chair, but Coach Knight told me to never do that, never, never use a chair in those situations. So it was a battle of heat versus height, David versus Goliath. Little Rock's Josh Hagens slung a mighty stone. And we are not done in Denver. Hagen scored 31 points as Little Rock upset Purdue, setting off one heck of a locker room celebration. Were you ever afraid that if you didn't win this game, your coach might break his other hand? <laughs> Her knees, all right. <laughs> He probably would have went crazy. He said, maybe if we said, if we if y'all lose, it's going to be over with, but we know it wasn't going to be over. He probably would have broke his other hand. The Trojans' run ended on Saturday. Iowa State's George Niang scored 28 points for the second straight game as the Cyclones advanced to the Sweet 16. It was a happy homecoming for Gonzaga's Josh Perkins, the Denver native was confident from the get-go being back in his hometown. Uh, we're the underdog, um, but I don't know if we deserve to be or not, but it is what it is, and uh, whoever they put in front of us is just going to get it. It ain't bragging if you can back it up, and that's what the former Regis Jesuit star and his 11th seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs did. They stunned both Seton Hall and Utah to advance to the Sweet 16. Putting check, check marks into the bucket list. Uh, it feels good, but we're not done yet. Um, like I said, the team is playing well right now, and um, I think the sky's the limit. I dreamed of it, but uh, for it to come true is, is, is unreal. Um, you can't even put it in words how I'm feeling right now. Um, but uh, like I said, we got the dub in front of those, those special people to me, and um, it was awesome, man. 